The original prosecutor in the Ahmad Arbery case has been ousted by an independent candidate in the race for Brunswick District Attorney. The GBI launched an investigation into DA Jackie Johnson and the Waycross District Attorney over their handling of the Arbery investigation. Specifically, allegations that she blocked the arrest of her former investigator the day of the deadly shooting. News 4 Jack's I-Team investigator Kelly Wiley has been following the case and this race, and she's live with us now. Kelly. Yeah, Jackie Johnson has been the district attorney in Brunswick for close to 10 years. But after a year filled with allegations of prosecutorial misconduct and allegations of a mishandling of the Ahmaud Arbery investigation, it was voters that pushed her out. Today, the district attorney accused of blocking the arrest of her former investigator in the Ahmad Arbery case has lost her bid for re-election. Brunswick District Attorney Jackie Johnson losing by more than 4,000 votes to independent Keith Higgins. Law enforcement and multiple district attorneys tied to the Ahmad Arbery case faced national criticism this spring after a video was released showing an ex-district attorney investigator and his son chasing and fatally shooting 26-year-old Ahmad Arbery. The investigator worked under Jackie Johnson for more than 20 years. The video led to the arrest of Jackie Johnson's former district attorney investigator, Greg McMichael, his son, Travis McMichael, and neighbor, William Roddy Bryan, on felony murder charges. But all three men accused in his death didn't face any arrest or charges for two months following the shooting. A Glynn County commissioner accused Johnson of blocking the arrest of her former investigator and his son. Johnson called the allegations false and an attempt to make excuses for the Glynn County Police Department. In May, the GBI opened an investigation into both Brunswick District Attorney Jackie Johnson and the Waycross District Attorney's handling of the case. Independent Keith Higgins will take over as district attorney in January. I think there's uh, a need to have more transparency and more accountability in the office, first and foremost. Uh, Part of the task is to create a greater degree of public confidence that things are being handled properly and the way they should and that everybody is treated equally fair under the law. Ahmad's mother, Wanda Jones, was one of thousands of South Georgia voters to oust Johnson. We need change. We we need to put some, some people in office that's going to be for all people. Um, I couldn't miss this election for nothing. I, I mean, I had to cast a vote I mean, for me and Ahmad. And the Ahmad Arbery case is not the only one that's drawn criticism for District Attorney Jackie Johnson. She also faced criticism for one of the first cases she took on in her first year as DA, the Caroline, Caroline Small case. It's a case where a woman was shot through her windshield by several Glenn County officers while she was still in her car. District Attorney Johnson was accused of providing defense attorneys for the officers with evidence before it was presented to a grand jury. Uh, she's also accused of not presenting indictments to the grand jury in that case and allowing defense attorneys to participate in the grand jury hearing and ask questions. We did reach out to the district attorney about this race and about the allegations that she's faced throughout her career as the district attorney. She did not reply to our to our messages. However, we have a former statement from her where she said she's confident that any investigation will ultimately show her office acted appropriately under the circumstance. Reporting live in Jacksonville, Kelly Wiley, Channel 4, The Local Station.